Hi guys, in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make the stylish front bodies. Firstly, you'll be needing your basic bodies. I went ahead to cut the half of it, which I used for my pattern, and I went ahead to trace that half in full to get this full bodies for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, I've also imprinted my side bust that and my waist that, and this particular part of these bodies is where I'm going to be attaching the bow tie. So I went ahead to mark wherever you want to mark from your armhole. We just want to create a pinched seam armhole line, okay? So I've gone ahead to mark that. And i also go ahead to close up my darts. If you've been following my tutorials, you should get used to me closing up darts by now. So I'm going ahead to close up my darts just so we get a fitted bodies. Whenever we close that, we want a fitted bodies and we also want to manipulate to get the style lines we desire. So in order to get that style line, we need to manipulate our darts. So we have to close up these darts and open them up at certain points to get that very particular style lines in the front part of these bodies, okay? So I'm going ahead now to close up my side bust that so having closed up my side bust that with my tape I'm going to be opening this bodies and this is what it looks like okay this is what it looks like so having done that now I'll go ahead to trace out to make out these lines okay but before i make out the line you remember that this particular part where we have our bust point and our side bust that we want to make sure that our bow tie also aligns at a particular point where it's not going to disturb our bodies or where it's not going to look start where it's not going to look nice rather so i went in by i went up by half inch from the bust point as you can see and i also marked an additional one inch from that particular point which means that my bow tie at the very point where it gathers is going to be one inch so i'm going to make sure that every style line that i draw goes into this particular one inch where the bow tie is going to be attached like so if you want you can play around with this if you don't want an exact look of the dress we are of the top design we are making you can play around with this you can want your, you can want your star line to be at any particular position where you want it to be so long as you're doing it right it's going to come out nice and beautiful So I'm going ahead now to use my hands to draw this particular style line. So I'm using my hand to draw this particular style line just so it cuts through that place where the side bust that and the waist that intersects because this is a flat pattern. What we're using is a flat pattern, okay? And that's majorly what is in use. The reason why I want it to cut across that point where they intersect is just so when I open up those style lines, that particular place, that bust part is going to lay flat in order to allow us to fold in and manipulate our that so when you put on this dress it's also going to look very nice and beautiful i hope that is well explained so this is the style line and this is what it looks like okay when you're done with yours this is also what you should be having except if you want to make your own style line a bit different from this so i'm going up now to get my princess seam my armhole princess seam if you've also been following my tutorial we should get used to armhole princess seam by now so i'm going ahead to manipulate my dust to get my armhole princess seam okay like so so you want to open the armhole line and close it up as the side bust and you want to close up the side bust that just to open it up at the armhole line please so you close this now and open it at the armhole line, okay? So I'm going ahead to tape this down now. I 
and with my scissors I'm going to be cutting this out in full just so I separate it from the main bodies and also I'm going to be open removing the other dart because we don't need the dart we're going to be removing the other dart just like so as you've seen me doing also mark your notches mark your bust points mark the notch of the one inch line where your bow tie gather is where the length of your bow tie gather is okay so i'm trying to true my pattern just so i get my notches aligned with the main bodies okay so i'm gonna have to trace my side my bust point notch i'm going to be marking that on both sides of the main bodies and that of the princess seam side and also those lines where this length of my bow tie gather is going to be so i'll be setting this aside now and i work on this particular pattern so i'll be going ahead now to slash and spread this pattern we are cutting two and not through just so we get an added fullness we are cutting two and not through okay like so just exactly what you see me doing that is what you're going to also do so i'm going to be cutting this you want to be careful so that you don't cut you don't cut out you don't cut two yes you don't cut through you want to cut two and not through so that particular place where i talked to you where i told you about we're going to be cutting it and as you can see this pattern is going to lay flat just to enable us work properly with it on our fabric so as you can see this pattern is going to lay flat like so okay so having done this now i'm going to be adding an additional paper this very particular part is laying flat that was the essence of cutting making that line to go through that place where the side bus does and the waist bus that intersect okay so having done this now so i want to close up this that properly just so it gets out of the way and we see what we're doing clearly i'll be getting an additional paper and attaching it to this very particular bodies just so it helps us to work properly on it like so you want to get an additional paper and attach it to these very particular bodies not and do not alter your main your foundation bodies so we're going to be laying it down like so we want to open up this part and add fullness to the very part where we are going to be attaching our armhole and you want to follow strictly what i am doing in order to add that fullness okay so i'll be going in with my tape to hold this very particular part in place you don't want to you don't want to bend this thing in such a way that you don't want to bend your bodies in such a way that you know it's not the way it is from the origin you want to keep it the way it is from the origin and then you start opening it up like so just so when you finish sewing on your fabric you arrive at the same thing you have at your origin so you don't alter it so just follow strictly what i am doing and that is what you're going to do okay so i'm going ahead now to give them that fullness you can for the fullness okay you want to use about one inch or one and a half inch but don't use something that is in excess okay so that you don't have it so voluminous one inch is okay one one inch is okay or one and a half inch one inch or one and a half inch is okay and make sure you lay your patterns flat while spreading it out on that fresh pattern paper So I'm spreading it out like so. I'm trying to lay them flat on this very particular paper. You 
you just want to follow what I am doing. You want to follow what I'm doing while sewing yours. It's just very simple. The technique here is I'm trying to open up this very particular part where we are attaching the armhole to create an added fullness for the folds. That's just basically what I am doing. And I'm not going to tamper with the armhole side. I'm only adding the fullness to that part where we are attaching the bow tie. While also making sure that I lay the pattern flat. Like I said, this is a flat pattern, so you have to lay it flat and make sure it's nicely and smoothly laid so you don't make a mistake, okay? So I'm also going down to lay the tip of it just so I see clearly what I'm doing, okay? I hope the white tape is not confusing you. I'm supposed to use a transparent cello tape to do this. But don't worry, when we get to the fabric, you see more clearly what we're doing. But I hope this is well explained. I hope I've explained it properly. So I'm also going ahead to lay every of this pattern flat and nice. So having done this now, we're going to be trying to create that fold, okay? We are trying to grade that fold, making sure that the beginning of our pattern foundation touches the beginning of the next one close to it. Then the very extra paper at the middle is what you need for your fold. I just hope you understand. The very extra part paper at the middle is what you'll be needing for your fold. The reason why we are doing this first on the paper is just so we get the exact shape of this very particular dress before removing the excess papers and then transferring to our fabric. So I'm going to be doing the same thing to all four of them. Four, yeah? One, two, three, four. Yes, to all four of them. Like so. I'm going to be trying to hold them down like so. I'm putting them up together. I'm using my my cello tape to hold them down. So having done that now, I'll go in my scissors to remove the excess papers that is the one we do not have just so this pattern comes out nicely the way we are going to transfer it to our fabric so i'm going with my scissors to remove the excess papers like so so i'm going ahead now to remove the excess papers which we do not need The actual place we are needing paper is where we slashed and spread. Every other place we don't need an act, we don't need an extra, we don't need paper there. We just need papers where we slashed and spread it. So that's just where we need this very paper for the sake of the added fullness, okay? So I'm going to have to remove all the excess fabrics like so. So having done that now, we should be having this. When you want to place your other part, I'm just chewing it. You should be having something like this. So I'll go ahead to open up this pattern just so it lays flat and I'll be able to cut it out on my fabric.
So I'm going to be spreading my fabric on the table and placing my pattern on it. I'm going to be cutting it out, placing my pattern on it. Use something to hold it down. So I haven't cut my fabric, my pattern paper on the fabric. Okay. I'll also be going ahead to mark out the very particular distance of where I'm folding, like so. I want to make sure I know the distance of where I am folding. So I'm tracing this out like so you can use a chalk, but I'm marking at the wrong side of my fabric, okay? I'm tracing these lines just so I know where I am folding and where not to fold. So yes, yeah, this place I'm so this is where I'm going to be folding, and the other tiny places are where I'm going to be leaving. These are the places where I trace, okay. I also go ahead to trace that part of the princess seam. So I also go ahead to cut out that part of the princess seam. So going over to my sewing machine now, I'll be going ahead to use a needle and thread. The reason why I'm using a needle and thread is just so I don't make a mistake and sew directly. I want to use a needle and thread to create the folds first from those line where I marked. So I'm going to be using a needle and thread to create those folds first, okay? And kind of run a loose stitch on them before I sew properly. So this is what I'm doing. You want to hold it down like like a box pleat. By the time you've used your needle and thread to attach the place where you're to fold from the line you marked, you want to hold that place down like a box pleat. So I'll be doing that again just so you understand. I'm gonna have to hold that part, okay, where I'm to fold. And also pressing it down like a box pleat, okay? Pressing it down like a box pleat. I just hope you understand. Yes, holding it down like a box pleat like so. I'm going to be sewing, taking it to my sewing machine and sewing it down. And that is what I'm going to be doing to the rest of the folds. So that's the same thing I'm also doing here, holding down the very particular place where I'm to fold and holding it like a box pleat before sewing it to my sewing machine, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna have to hold them all down like so. And remember we, we, we used one inch as the length of our armhole gather. So you want to make sure that it's in line with what you're doing. Okay, you want to make sure that it's in line with that very particular place. So having done that now, I'll be going over to the other side of this body, which is the princess seam side. So 
I want to create a loop. Like, we want to create a loop where we'll be fixing our bow tie, okay? We want to create a loop where we'll be fixing our bow tie. So, I haven't marked the length, which is one inch. Of course, I'm having 1.5 inch, which is okay. By the time you're done sewing, you're going to having one inch. So, we want to create that loop where we'll be fixing in our bow tie so i'm using two inches so by the time i sew i will probably be arriving at 1.5 but two inches is perfect for it just so it holds the bow tie firmly and now we're going to be sewing not on the very tip of a princess seam for the attachment of the bow tie for the loop of the bow tie okay we're not we're going to be sewing not on the very particular tip of our princess seam before you sew make sure that your notches are aligning especially your bust point notch of the main bodies and that of the princess seam part okay i'm also going ahead to sew down on that two inches line that i marked so i'm going ahead to sew this down on that prince two inch line for the loop where we are going to be attaching the bow tie i just hope this makes sense but if you're watching closely what i'm doing now you're going to understand what i'm saying perfectly so i'm going to be sewing down on that loop also following the method i used for sewing down the other part okay i'm sewing on a two inch length for the loop of the bow tie i'm sewing on a two inch length for the loop of the bow tie So we're going to have to sew this hole down. So having done that now, this is what you should be having, okay? Do not worry about this part being in alignment with the one inch because this is just for the loop of the bow tie okay so making sure that my bust point notches align make sure your bust point notches align okay just so you get the exact fit of these bodies making sure that my bust point notches align i'm sewing this particular loop now one inch away from the tip of my I'm whole precessing pattern like so I did not sew on the tip I sewed one inch away from the tip of the arm hole princess seam okay and I haven't measured the loop now I'm having 1.5 inches so the technique there is this is my arm hole you want to put in your arm hole like so the technique there is you want to put in your arm hole and close up that very particular loop you've already created okay you want to put your bow tie into the loop so making my boss point notches to align i'm going to be sewing from the boss point notch down to my waist line i'm going to be sewing from the boss point point from the boss point notch of my princess seam part and the main bodies down to my waistline okay do not worry if there are excesses on the waistline part it could be you added excess allowance either on both sides of the pattern just like i did okay so make sure your notches align that is the most important so having done that now you're going to be opening this up and you're having something like so and i'm going to be passing 
my bow tie on that loop that i told you about that we created i'm going to be passing my bow tie on that loop you want to have a loop that is not too big for your bow tie to pass from okay just make sure that your bow your bow tie is kind of the length is something that can pass through the loop you've created or else you want to create a larger loop but do not make it so large also consider the weight of your fabric I'm using that this is a crepe fabric okay also consider the weight of your fabric so I'm going ahead to pass it out of that loop okay I'm going to pass it out of that loop so you also want to sew from the tip of your princess seam armhole princess seam line okay you want to sew from the tip of the princess seam where it stops at the armhole leaving the very part of the loop leaving the very part of the loop just a very little part of the loop so you'll be able to sew so having done that now this is what we are having okay if you have any question please leave it into the comment section below wherever it is you don't understand leave it in the comment section below and i will explain as soon as possible thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye